Airport Consultant Philippine Japan Aviation and Airport Engineering Consultancy Inc. or PhilJAC identified Maraymaray Don Carlos Bukidnon as the best location for the construction of Bukidnon Airport other than Kabangahan in Malaybalay City and Dabong-Dabong in Valencia City, Bukidnon. This was finalized last 2013. Everyone are excited for the operation of the said airport, especially the people in Bukidnon and nearby provinces. But wait, to fill out our excitement, let's know more about the said construction, the phases, methodology, and its construction cost. According to Senator Mig Suberi last October 2019, the airport will have a modern pineapple design since the province is known to be the home of finest pineapple in Asia. The phase one of the project is groundworks. This include the cleaning and grabbing operation. As is specified in the PWH standards item 100, cleaning and grabbing operation consists of removing and disposing of all vegetation and debris as designated in the contract, since the identified site was an agricultural land. The second one is excavation. As is specified in the PWH standards item 102, excavation consists of roadway, drainage, and barrow excavation and the disposal of materials. And the next one is embankment, as is specified in the PWH standards Item 104, embankment must pass the grading test, plasticity test, and compaction test. The said site development of the project was awarded last January 2019 with contract duration of 360 days to Unimasters Conglomeration Incorporation, a contractor from Tacloban City, Leyte, Philippines, and it is categorized as Class AAA or AAA by the Philippine Contractors Accreditation Board or PCAP. Accordingly, the said company was also participating in international bidding against foreign contractors. According to Senator Migs Suberi last October 2019, the phase 1 of the construction of Bukidnon Airport, which cost amounting 272 million 18,756 pesos was around 80% accomplishment as of October 2019 and expected to finish this 2020 for the phase 1 of the project. But why does the operation is still in year 2022? Because phase 2 will follow which is the concreting works. According to Senator Miggs, the concreting works amounting to 630 million will be held for bidding early November 2019 through public bidding. The said airport has a total area of 105.42 hectares with 2.65 km by 45 meter runway. According to the Department of Transportation, Bukidnon Airport will be a class 2 feeder airport that able to serve propeller aircraft with capacity of at least 19 seats. Last October 2019, Senator Mig Subiri added that he is working on amending the national budget for next year 2020 in order to add at least 1 billion for the completion of the airport by year 2022.